Yasmin, you, you made a great point when you talked about how for years Trump's comments were defended as, ah, you're taking it too seriously. He's just joking, like you're obsessing about things like let's slow down the testing. And oh, oh whoops, he did slow down the testing actually. Um, now they don't have exactly that for Marjorie Greene, the jokes. But Lindsey mm -hmm. Graham does have a defense that is perhaps even more laughable than the one they applied to Donald Trump. So here is Lindsey Graham asked about Marjorie Greene. Oh, that you have spent some time with her. <laughs> Where do you yeah. come down on this idea of whether she should be stripped of committee assignments? Well, rather than me talking about what she may have said, I want to hear from her. So I flew down to Georgia with her on Air Force One, had a very pleasant experience with her, uh, very, very cordial, very pleasant. Mm -hmm. So here's what I think she owes herself, quite frankly, her constituents in the country. Is that true? Was she misquoted? Was she taken out of context? I want to know, does she still believe that Sandy Hooks was faked, that 9-11 that was an inside job, that there's a Jewish laser, laser in the sky starting fires in California? I don't know. I know how words can be twisted. I know how you can be taken out of context. But rather than me talking about her, I would like her to be definitive. Did you believe that then? Mm -hmm. If you've changed your mind, why? What do you believe now? Then I will comment. Oh, yeah, Yasmin, so at the end there, what he said was actually somewhat similar to what you and I were saying about it's not yeah. enough to just announce it, we want the explanation. But what did you think about the point he was making? I didn't like it. You know, it's, it, it, I mean, I guess the idea is. Does she still believe it and all these things? But the thing is, like, she's been doing it recently, actively, right now. You know, she's still defending those. Yeah, she has like that Trump one mask on her face on the on the congressional floor. So obviously, no, it, it she hasn't changed. She still believes all these things that she was talking about on the campaign trail prior to being elected and then after being elected. So I don't really know what mm -hmm. Lindsey Graham is looking for, what kind of evidence he wants to see, what she could possibly say to convince him They're like, oh, she's cool now, she's fine. Yeah, I, you know, in the same way that I had the question for Jim Jordan, yeah. I do have a question for Lindsey Graham. What would the proper context be that we've taken mm -hmm. her out of for literally any of those things that she's said? So if you are saying uh, that Obama and Hillary should be hung, wrap that in a context that makes it acceptable. I'd like to see what that is. What do you think about that? Believing for literally years and making hours long rants about how some guy secretly in government is revealing that there's been an international pedophile ring for centuries that Donald Trump, friend of Jeff Epstein, is gonna like singularly take down. What's the context that we need to know? The space I mean, laser stuff. Like if she had said the space laser stuff and then said, uh, that's the basic premise for my upcoming screenplay, but I'm a little bit worried it's too crazy. That's the only context I would accept. And that's not the one that we've provided. So it's just, it's such a cowardly, like, I'm not gonna actually say anything. I'm just gonna assume that maybe she's taken out of context. Just stop being cowards. Stop being cowards. There was the guy yesterday that was like, I can't comment on this because the weather's been too rough. I think it was Martha <laughs> McSally was like, I can't comment on this because back when I was in the House, I used to hate when senators would talk about pending legislation. No, you're all cowards. You're all, we're supposed to believe. They're saying, you guys are crazy for focusing on her. She ain't powerful. Well, then why is every Republican senator running scared from commenting on how it is crazy to traffic in insane, murderous, anti Semitic, racist conspiracy theories? It's not difficult. It's not difficult. I'm not a senator. I have a YouTube channel and I can do it. You should be able to come up with something. You've got PR teams. Put a statement together. It's also a tweet. Like she tweets a lot of these these things, you know. So as far as context goes, that yeah. is the context. It's a tweet. It's 140 characters or however long. You know, maybe a thread. Maybe there's a tweet <laughs> thread. You know, like yeah. best case scenario. But as far as the, the contextual agreement goes, it doesn't make any sense. And I think he knows that. Lindsey Graham is known for being one of the flip floppiest flip floppers that we have in yeah. government right now. So I really don't take a lot of what he says worth anything really but um but yeah it's a, it's a silly argument yeah you, well you're you're a hundred percent right about mm -hmm. Lindsey Graham as someone in Twitch yeah. chat pointed out he was the guy that said years ago if uh, if I try to seat a a, a a judge to the Supreme Court in 2020 you use this video against me whoops 
I guess we're just gonna do it because hypocrisy doesn't matter. It turns out. So yeah, you're right. We we can't trust, nor should we really care what he says. But if he is gonna be this cowardly, if this is what the Republican Party is gonna be, we're at least gonna point it out to people. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.